Well, imagine if, if you were to take television and event television today, that's more of a imagine is than a social media second screen app. So it really is a, a TV, TV in a new way, not TV in a new device, uh, which is very important. So everything you can do in regular TV, you can do in Mad. You can watch live TV on your TV. You can watch live TV on your iPad, on your mobile phone, on your computer or the device of your choice. But then you can also see everything that's been on television on all, on all channels. So instead of having 50 channels and 50 things to watch, you have 50 channels times up to 30 days of things to watch, which is 20, 40,000 things to view at any given moment. So it's really about liberating and making TV free and making it easy for consumers to consume better TV. Well, it's very easy. In, in Sweden, for instance, people in general watch 119 minutes of television per day. A daily active Imagine user uh, views 130 already and it's a trend that is going upwards. So just by looking at the data we can already see that people are viewing more television in Sweden. And if you ask the users, 55 to 60 percent says in both Sweden, Germany and Spain that they actually watch more television with Madian than without Madian. And when it comes to advertisement, of course we're trying to help out. So we are creating platforms internally that will be able to monetize better on, on, on uh, advertisement. But that is just there to help our broadcasters to monetize better. Not really, no. That's not really what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to allow broadcasters and, and, and advertisers to target, uh, but we're not going to sell the data. Yes. No, 100% is going to be targeted advertisement in television going forward. How fast the shift is coming, we don't know. It's not going to change by, by a day, because it's the biggest advertisement place in the world still. And there is a traditional way of doing it, and a traditional way of measuring it, and that's not something you change in a day.